Hello traders, welcome to the channel. Today 27th September, Nifty ends this week at 26,178 and Bank Nifty at 53,834. As usual, before proceeding to our weekend analysis, we will discuss few things which we were uh, discussing during our previous week. See this one, uh, see we discussed in August, okay, I remember it was analyzed on August 10th. Nifty reaching 26,200. See why it is important because I shared this uh, 26,200 when the price was trading here and you can see the gap down and the market uh, declined in a very fast manner and there are some other analysis uh, that there is a, a possibility of more decline. But I shared during uh, this time that Nifty can reach 26,200 and I still remember I said that 2400 can be the important turning point for the next up move. I am sharing all the things with you and uh, possibility of future price actions. I am not only analyzing the historical data. Second thing, see, I can simply count like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I can say that Nifty can still move upside and uh, one more leg is pending. Whatever I can simply say, and I can see the target of 26,700 order, whatever, any number. And once it reaches, after a week or month, I can say that the level has been reached. But I am not doing like that. See, my longer term target, I already shared many times in video. And uh, even my, in my weekend, previous weekend, as I said, our long term target on Bank Nifty, everything I am sharing. Each and every video, I cannot share the long term target, medium term target. Fine. My long term target on Nifty is 30,000 plus. Okay. And Bank Nifty I shared in a week analysis that is based on longer term. And these analysis are for next couple of days or next week. Okay. I am taking the risk of sharing the each and every turning points within the sub waves. I can simply uh, draw a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and say the direction alone. That is very simple. But I am not doing that. Instead, I am doing like this. Fine. I am drawing the subways within the subways and within that subways. That's why we are able to get the turning points of each and every day almost. And uh, see, in yesterday's analysis, I explained this concept at least two to three times that if the price crosses above and closes above 26,050 zone, the price may reach 2600 and 26180. It's very simple, right? See here, this is the 26060 zone. The price closed above and the price started moving higher. And even you can see 26200 to 250 is the level which I have marked in previous video. You can just go and check my previous video. People are deliberately trying to identify the mistake. See, identifying mistake is very easy. See, I am taking risk of analyzing the each and every subwave. Many people will not do that because they may go wrong multiple times. But even though uh, we are analyzing the shorter term, even minute terms of turning points, I think I have identified these turning points almost 80 to 90 percent of times. And I shared this uh, post on on the 6th. Okay, see here, the price is near shorter term resistance 26,216. Possibly one more high to 26,280 to 26,300 and may give a small dip and price may reach around 26,450. See, today's high was 26,277. Okay, 26,277. I adjust this line. Okay, approximately. See the target. I shared on 26 September itself. Today's high was 26,277. Three points. This is called precise level of turning point. It can be identified only with the help of analyzing the subwaves. Okay. So as per our expectation, the price reached 26,277, almost our precise level and uh, giving a small dip. Okay. And uh, as we explained uh, in this post, this is the approach now. A small dip and one more high to 26, 435, 450 zone is possible and it may complete only the sub wave 3 here and a 4 and a 5 may complete to 
bigger wave 3. So, this is the assumption. It can be turned to be 5, but this is the assumption now. And uh, one more request to everyone that don't take trades based on my analysis. And one key important point, whatever method you are following for trading, don't go against the trend. So, I remove this uh, line to remove the confusion. So, I hopefully believe that this subwave 3 has been completed. I expecting a small dip. Maybe it can reach this level. And uh, 26,030 approximately. We need to see how it is approaching. I will discuss these key points with the help of uh, Bank Nifty. And the price may start moving higher to complete the fifth of this 3. And that level can be 26,000. 435 or 450 around that zone. So, this is the approach on uh, Nifty now. And then Bank Nifty, you know, I have already marked this level 54,200 and uh, 54,000. And if you watch my previous videos, I have marked these two zones also like 54,500 to 54,700. And uh, price today high almost uh, close to 54,500 maybe. So, today's high was 54,465 almost close to our uh, zone and you see if the price wants to make immediately higher the price should hold this low okay please understand if the price wants to move higher one more high is pending in this particular impulse itself i am talking about this impulse red okay to complete this four and five the price needs to move higher but the support can be this 53,770 itself. Okay, the opening Monday is very important. Or else, if the price comes below this, there are chances that the price may reach 53,450 and uh, worst case, 53,060. But primarily, this may get support here. We need to see how the price develops. So, a dip and the price may start moving higher. So, the assumption is here or here okay we need to see if the price comes below this low yes the price may come to the 53,460 zone so the important level in bank nifty is 53,770 the price in very important support for a shorter term targets please listen this important support is valid for only the shorter term targets okay if the price holds this level yes there is a possibility of reaching one more high to the 54,500, even now 55,000 is also possible in the upcoming uh, impulse. But if the price, uh, maybe a small rise and uh, comes below this level, we can expect some support to 53,450 around. And based on the uh, wave, internal waves, we can expect the even next level of 53,050. This is the update on Bank Nifty. In midweek market update, we said the clue is on Nifty. In this week, the clue is on Bank Nifty. So, Nifty, we don't know whether it's a small dip. Okay, I'm expecting it to be a small dip. And that small dip initial uh, level is this low, 26,000. And the next low can be 25 or 900 approximately. Okay, everything is based on how the price develops. So, the clue from Bank Nifty is, if the price gets support here itself, the Bank Nifty can uh, maybe come here and start moving higher. So, it will become a very small dip. But if Bank Nifty uh, breaks this low directly or by giving a small uh, bounce and coming lower, the Nifty can we can expect 26,000 and 25,900. The clue here is on Bank Nifty and the level is 53,750 approximately, this previous low. So, this is the update on Nifty and Bank Nifty. And uh, yes, broader markets, yes, uh, high is pending. It can extend, but uh, I believe uh, impulse is not yet completed and uh, the broader markets uh, possibly move higher. So, when comparing the mid cap 150, small caps have a, a higher uh, side. Anyway, both can extend. So, Broader markets, yes, there is a possibility of moving higher. And coming to the commodities crude oil, see, uh, this is very important uh, level I want to discuss with you. In our previous video, I said that if the price breaks above this level, it can be a breakout. 
and uh, the price may reach uh, even this level but while uh, discussion i said that even though the price gives a breakout you need to have a glance in this zone i not changed anything okay these two lines are already in the uh, previous video i will share that one minute clip now because uh, even though i am analyzing and uh, sharing all these informations uh, it is not uh, reaching people like believe maybe because they are not understanding waves or uh, i don't know the reason but anyway i share that level see hourly yes this is a resistance now okay uh, breaking above this point the price may uh, reach this level 72.70 approximately because as of now i'm not able to find the impulse and I expected one more low uh, in previous weekend i said uh, one more low is possible in crude oil so far the price is bouncing and not shown any uh, pullback so if the price rejects here okay around 71.4 and uh, in a hourly chart comes below this point this point 67.7 okay then we can expect a one more low or else a breakout and the price may start moving higher even though if the price uh, break out from this level have a, a glance at this level if the price moves slowly this level can pose some resistance if crosses this level yes the price may move upside as you just saw i said that the price gives a breakout even though it's a breakout we need to have a glance here and the price started declining here why i said that in uh, classical technical analysis it may be called as a inverted head and shoulders right a prior high breakout but why the price rejected that's the difference between classical analysis versus elliot based classical analysis will say only the breakouts and confirmations maybe support and resistance based on the previous price action but elliot wave is always a forward looking analysis and uh, see many are uh, not fully understood the potential of elliot waves we can do wonders with the help of elliot waves we are not using it in wise way yes it is somewhat difficult we need to change our view but uh, in every analysis we need to change our view see if it is a breakout why we need to change our view and people are always telling that only elliot waves uh, we need to change our view in all analysis we need to uh, change our view and we need to be ready with the alternate levels also so as per expectation the price is giving a, a rejection and uh, coming lower i'm expecting this uh, decline for the past couple of weeks that uh, crude oil we can expect one more low or a pullback so possibly the price may come a one more low fine and then the price uh, will bounce based on that bounce we may uh, expect that the price may continuing upside or or maybe 1 2 3 okay if the price goes below this level the previous low then we need to take a, a bearish stance fine we have discussed lot in the crude oil in previous videos so now we move to the natural gas see in natural gas i drawn these two lines okay while drawing these two lines i said that if the price takes support here and gives a breakout then the price may move higher or if the price comes lower here this will be the important support as per our initial expectation the price got support and gave a breakout and the price even crossed the expectation of this line okay so now what we can expect is i will draw a possibly 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 and maybe uh this 3 can itself move higher and 4 and 5 okay this is the as of now expectation price may reach the previous high of 3 dollars and uh, we need to see the sub waves by looking at this see i am not analyzed before i am analyzing now and you can see the price action now 2.907 and the price is uh, moving and uh, this can be sub waves 
okay so this is what my assumption now yes the price can reach uh, one more high in this subway itself and a consolidation and may reach the previous high or even cross that high so this is the update on natural gas and silver fine see while uh, discussing the silver i said that there are two options the price may come lower and start moving higher or the price may move like this i will share that uh, screenshot because uh, people are uh, deliberately trying to identify mistakes uh, within me see this one nifty i not shared before let me come to nifty again this one silver see one two three four five okay and the price was trading here do you find any difference here one two three four five see the price is moving as per expectation only uh, we need to understand the waves and uh, i even explained that this is the decision point and this is the uh, waiting for some confirmation and this also i explained in our uh, videos so i request to everyone that in waves we need patience okay this is not the momentum trading okay this is understanding the market itself we need to give some time to the price to react with the waves if you are willing to understand the waves or if you wish to uh, take your uh, trades based on elite waves the primary quality is patience okay we need to give some time for price while checking the uh, silver the price has uh, came below this low so possibly uh, the price can uh, give some correction and uh, yes there's a possibility of correction in silver a pullback maybe and to invalid the price needs to move above this high okay 33 dollars then the price may reach 34 dollars uh, we already discussing this level but uh, we need to see how the price reacts here so possibly it can uh, if the correction continues there is the possibility of price to reach 30.6 or even 30 okay approximately the initial level is 30.65 we need to see how the price uh, approaching but if the price takes support here itself and uh, crossing higher then uh, one more high is possible and this is the update on silver and uh, one stock uh, near the turning point or already reached the turning point and uh, in that example today we are going to see Hindustan Zinc I have never uh, shared my trading positions or what are the stocks I am having positions fine let me uh, discuss few things before proceeding with the Hindustan Zinc see I am not an option trader I have uh, informed this multiple times in videos and even my course learners I am not an options trader my primary trading method is cash trading with the mostly swing and positional as i said before elite wave mostly using for investments so i tried hard to understand the subways to make this wonderful study to take trades for a shorter term and i am doing in mostly cash and sometimes in futures okay options i am not doing it see i never shared my uh, trading positions or what are the stocks i am uh, taking questions or trading nothing i shared but uh, for the past week a lot of questions so i'm just sharing one thing so in this in this on zinc see this is the analysis i shared 10 september closely watch 10 september the price was trading around 485 and this is the expectation and the support point please see 475.83 this is on 13 september see the price and started moving higher okay exactly precisely with the help of elite waves you can identify even what pattern the price may take here expected ending diagonal with precise level of turning point i not only did analysis see this date okay this date is the low 11th september low point is 475.83 and uh, this is my entry 11 September 11 September okay 
by 476. What is the low? 475.40. Exact low point I took an entry. So with the help of waves, we can identify the turning points in all the time frames. For that, we need some experience. We need to practice. In Elliott waves, uh, the most important thing is patience and we need to practice a lot. Okay. And I'm not uh, recommending anything. So possibly the price has reached the end of the correction here and the price may start moving. Worst case, the price may make one more low. But that is uh, not required now because the price has reached the significant important turning point. And here it may get some resistance and a pullback and it may start moving higher once the price crosses all these uh, these two uh, higher points then the one more low option is nullified and uh, the price may start moving higher so in my opinion primarily the price has reached the important turning point and the price may start moving higher but not a straight way it will dip here and uh, make uh, one more u and uh, you can call it as inverted head and shoulders and may start moving higher but if the price rejects here itself and uh, come below this point then yes the worst case one more low and the price may start moving higher okay this is the stock which i want to discuss if you want to understand the elite wave and uh, see i have shown the real life examples also even today's nifty here exactly identify the turning point 26280 and today 26277 so if you wish to understand all these turning points and if you wish to understand the Elliott waves in most practical and proper way of uh, understanding the waves, you can register my course. I give all the details in the description. And uh, the things which we discussed in this uh, video is not at all any recommendations. Please don't take trades. If you want to take trades, you need to understand the Elliott wave theory because I'm not talking about any classical technical analysis, only uh, pure Elliott wave study. So you need to understand the wave theory first, then only you can understand it better. I'm not asking to learn from me. You can learn from anyone, but if you learn, you can understand the concepts which I am uh, trying to explain to you because I am uh, not only sharing the direction as like others do. I am uh, moving in depth and uh, going uh, in depth like subwaves subways and trying to identify the each and every turning point in each and every day it takes a lot of effort and uh, i'm trying my best to bring you the uh, wonderful elliott wave study okay so don't underestimate the elliott wave analysis those who not understand wave theory they can uh, talk anything about that but once we understood the wave theory it gives a lot of clues about the future price action. So again, yes, if you like to uh, take your Elliott wave trading to the next level, you can register my course. And uh, if you like my analysis and if you wish to get the market analysis like precise levels of turning points and to understand the Elliott wave in a better way, you can subscribe my channel and share it with your friends, families and fellow traders so that they can also learn the uh, purest form of Elliott wave trading. So thank you. Uh, trade safe. Happy weekend. We'll meet you in the midweek market update. Thank you. Bye.